Hey everyone's Dave here and welcome to Space Salvage Overview. This one's kinda different, I mean we've had cleaning games and space games, but not everything all together. <laughs> I mean every occasion to leave the planet is cool and all, though I would imagine doing some other more interesting stuff than collecting rubbish. <laughs> So Space Salvage is a collection space simulator game where you maneuver your pod through multiple interplanetary crash sites to collect and recycle anything you'll find for credits while fighting off the hostile entities that are in competition with you. I mean there's some interesting stuff going on, like first of all it kinda in place will have a full on locomotion in space which is always a plus. It doesn't seem to be only cleaning simulator but also there's gonna be some combat going on, conflicts between the nations. I'm surprised the trailer doesn't show off that particular thing because on the first glance you'll be just seeing someone flying by and collecting trash and that's it but from the description it seems more deep. The graphics are below average from the looks of it. Space as a concept is hard to do especially on standalone so I'll give them that they did more in the development with the features and the mechanics rather than create stunning environments but essentially boring. The more I look at the concept the more interesting it gets. Maybe it's gonna be like a hidden banger because it really is packing a lot of stuff that the visuals are not showing at all. So maybe it's a case of really bad marketing but the actual game would be like amazing. So it's just better to go straight to the gameplay to find out the truth. Let's clean up the space. Welcome new employee. The Space Salvage Corporation receives you with open arms and minimal expectations. <laughs> Our records indicate that you are part of our vagrant relocation program. After the controlled demolition of your planet of origin, Taurus 4. They also state that whilst on Taurus 4, you were an accomplished aerospace engineer. However, as I am sure you're aware, with the destruction of every educational institution on Taurus 4, your qualifications are now null and void. This is excellent news, as it allows us to place you at the lowest entry level position with nowhere to go except up. <laughs> you will shortly arrive at your assigned work hub. From this place, you will receive assignments from various SSC contractors that will send you on adventures of waste recovery all over the cosmos. You have been allocated a Mark 11 personal assistant recovery pod with which to complete these assignments. For this, you are now indebted to the SSC for the value of this craft. A trivial two decades worth of your salary. A debt you will enthusiastically work to satisfy. Oh, and your name is a thing of the past here. You will be referred to by your employee number, buckle up 114. I don't know if you see it, but there's something going on with the sides of the vision when you load in. I didn't know we'll have like a social game going on here. Ah, this is the main menu, okay. Yeah, I will appreciate the tutorial. Alright, my little pod jockey. Most trainees don't know their throttle from their flight stick, and you look like you're wearing that suit for the first time. Corporate. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Destination achieved. Greetings, SSC pod operator. You have located the flight <laughs> stick. Use your joystick to manipulate your yaw and pitch. Please try facing the cargo vessels closest to you to collect them. Whoa, <laughs> it's kind of trippy. So it automatically collects. Oh my god, <laughs> I need to sit down for this. Your throttle. Please approach the container closest to you and reclaim it. If you are in need of direction, please refer to the yellow marker on your radar. Holy cow, this is intense. My god! <laughs> Please proceed through the illuminated rooms to acquire basic pod flight aptitude. I mean, I don't know what I expected, cause we'll be literally in space 
where there's no direction nor anything really. <laughs> I think the steering is fine though. Warning. Hull integrity below 50%. Oh damn. <laughs> and to be careful. Your flight stick is equipped with a trigger. Squeezing it will change your rotational axis, allowing you to roll your craft. An overuse of this feature may cause intense disorientation. Oh, now you tell me. I need to gently steer this throttle though. I mean... <laughs> this is a lot, definitely. <laughs> When you're actually in control, this is okay. <laughs> but yeah, don't do it too fast. <laughs> like I'm gonna destroy myself in the tutorial. <laughs> I mean, I don't know the proper intensity. Like there are some steps, but it's either Something or literally 100. Kudos 114 on your completion of the SSC basic movement tutorial. You have lowered the probability of your death by collisions by approximately 12%. 114, please be aware that whenever you see fit, you may press the home button overhead to return to the SSC work hub. I think this is the actual living human gravity level. <laughs> Not this. Well done, 114. You are exceeding my minimal expectations. <laughs> I feel like I just go on a mission. I mean because the, the combat tutorial is not unlocked yet, so... We can just see what's up. You know, Bagger, some... Your employer requires your diligent connection of the requisite cargo. Please begin. Now seeing it, I'm actually not mad at the graphics and the space in general. Especially because this fully explorable. I mean, of course, you can go to certain limits probably, but it's cute. So I'm searching medical packs. I mean, at least here there's more space to fly, so I won't hit everything so easily. I can't tell if I'm moving or not. There's a map, but it doesn't say much, even though we're close to the goal. I think I saw one more behind this asteroid. I swear I saw it. It's better to get bigger picture from far away. Oh, there it is. 
So this is fully explorable, which is very nice. I'm of course limited by the stages you select. Well done! Your success continues to astound me, given the limited power of your outdated human brain. <laughs> How dare you! Stellar work out there, pal. You're doing the Monroe family proud. No stars. So they do now. Ah, oh, the radar wasn't working, okay. Lasers, paint jobs, and now more stuff unlocks. What's a quick right, job? Ganga. Uncle Coson's got a rather treacherous task for you. Spectrum is hammered by armor. All right, so that's from this list. If we don't know, well, I mean, why not? Capturing the cargo. That hold won't fit itself, especially since one day it might. Okay. Caution. Incoming storm. I detected a fairly perilous meteor shower hurtling toward our location. Buckle up. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> So the radar shows you the items and the level they are as well in space. Jesus, how do I maneuver with meteor shower? <laughs> it's behind it. <laughs> oh yeah, this radar is definitely a good investment. What control? <laughs> Definitely out of here. <laughs> well, look at that. You've only gone and sorted it, huh? Nicely done, Bagger. Okay, but I thought there's gonna be like more guidance of what to do and yeah, more story, I guess. Oh, now the story unlocks. So we have like certain challenges and then side missions to do. Then we jump back into the campaign or anything. I wish I would see the combat first, though I can only imagine being it pretty complicated because the movement is already hard. So like, how do you manage anything else? <laughs> When you get a hold of the pod and how to actually and properly maneuver with it, it feels very immersive and that you're actually out here among your colleagues. I see a lot of potential with this, especially with the mods and the upgrades you can apply to your own ship. The graphics are okay, they're like 
set in the comic world, which isn't that bad though. Some more detail could be added, but considering the space itself is pretty nice looking actually. And you have different like trivias of the futuristic world <laughs> and stuff. So far it's cool, though it can't be just viewed as a killing simulator, like it's much more than that. And if you're gonna play more of it, it's very hard to tell, like there's so many stuff lining up for me to do, so we'll see what's gonna happen though. This is interesting. <laughs>